what's up guys you know i'm out here with uh billy brown <laughs> gangrene fishing we're out here you know we just spent probably about 15 minutes trying to catch a freaking turkey actually it's almost 30. dude it was like <laughs> half an hour of us trying to catch a turkey you know what fuck we'll play it right now catch a chick Crikey! It's a baby turkey in its natural habitat. One of the most dangerous birds in northern in Northern California. One swipe of the talons from the mother, and I'll be hospitalized. I'm gonna go catch it. Oh, shit. Wait, the babies fly? What? I didn't know the babies fly. <laughs> Oh, look at the bomb! Oh my god! It's terrifying! I didn't know the babies could fly! How the hell are these in a tree? Did you know they could, Did you know the babies can fly? I knew! No. I knew full grown, but damn! What the hell? What? What? So you were able to catch that? Well, I could well, try to grab the limb! There's one of them, but where are the rest of them? Turkey's oh, looking oh. at us. Sarah's oh, yeah. right there. Smart little bastards. Oh, dude, they're, they're going higher. Yeah, they are. If you want the one on the second floor, let's go. All right. Ow. Hold the camera. I got you. This thing comes again. Where'd it go? Just look for it. Here, turkey, 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 turkey. Wait, that's a chicken, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Turkeys go gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, dude, look at that. He run into the door with the window. He doesn't look happy. <laughs> well, there's, there's, only, there's, that's only two babies. What do you know the rest of them? Oh, there's there one. is. There it is. Got it. It's gone by the tree. Sheesh. It just shit right next to the baby. <laughs> I can't believe it just almost caught one. <laughs> Let's try to sneak down on the baby. Let's do it. Turkey's going higher, so we got a chance. Exactly. Until it just drops down like Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> you surprised I almost, I almost got that thing. I didn't do you really close. Just so we will have a tree. Here's what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna stay out of sight for a second. Okay, there's one. We can grab that one. Stay right there, stay right there. I'm gonna sneak around like a panther. Like a puma.
No, I hope again. <laughs> I don't even know where it went. Going too far. What? Billy. And here we have a wild Billy Bound in his natural habitat. Hunting down an innocent baby turkey just for his own amusement. He oh look at him prance in the field. We let him roam just for the fun. Oh, look at him run. <laughs> oh, and Billy Brown attempts to scare the turkey. Try and warn him off of his turf. Oh, look, he is doing his traditional fighting dance. Making sure the turkey stays away from his brown. But we're actually out here. We're uh, on our way to go uh, start filming Gang Green Episode 5? I believe so. Episode 5. You know, we're going out to Bodega Bay tonight. Uh, we're going to go catch some sharks. Sharks, rays, and possibly some California halibut, depending on how close they are into the surf. Mm, yeah, awesome. So, pretty sure some of you are questioning right now... Uh, why Billy Brown has a ski mask on? Actually, it's for pig hunting, but you know. Now, yesterday, me and Logan had to ref a flag football league. And, you know, your boy's a redhead, so fairly pale skin. Not too pale, though, but fairly pale. And when it's 93 to 95 degrees all day long, and you're out there for a little over 11 hours... You tend to get burned, so I'm covered in blisters right now, but I'm still going to film for you guys. So, gotta wear this to protect, same with the hat, same with the glasses, just to protect the skin. Just so that way I don't burn any worse. Well, there you go, that's why Billy is wearing a pig hunting mask, but we're going out fishing tonight. So, this is just going to be a little vlog series I think me and Billy are going to put on here. That, uh, just kind of like a behind the scenes of what we do and what we put on for these videos. Yes, sir. You know, it'll probably be posted to my channel and probably his. Probably just both get them, you know. Go ahead, check Billy out, Gangry Fishing. His description will be in the link of Immortal Cinema, and my link will be in the description of Gangry Fishing. So, you know, we'll check back in a little bit. About to go, uh, get some stuff from Dix. So, yeah, just got into Dix right now. We're just, I don't know, That's Billy, what are we Right now we're just grabbing some quick hooks, leader line, such as the 25 pound Maxima Mono, as well as we need some pyramid weights to keep it on the bottom. I use anywhere between four and eight ounce pyramid weights depending on the surf, just so that way it's not moving anywhere except for your bait in the surf, so it looks more like it's getting battered rather than just carried along. A lot easier to detect a bite, a lot easier to keep your bait in one spot. So well, that's what we're Picking up the supplies right now before we go out, trying to catch some sharks, catch some other stuff tonight, but we're just making a quick little pit stop. Probably going to go get a little bit of food after here, don't you think, Billy? Yeah. I don't know, what do you feel about that? That's up to you. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see, uh, but I'm you know, just making a quick pit stop before we go. Probably going to be out pretty late trying to catch this stuff. Do this group. Crab. No, it's not crab season. I really wanted to catch some crabs. <laughs> Billy may may probably not gonna make it past this past tonight. Sharks get kind of hungry, Billy. Yeah, I also got a nice lead weight for your head. 
<laughs> this is gonna be a fun night. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're about what do you say? About probably 15, 15. 15 minutes outside Building a Bay right now. Uh, it's getting pretty cold out here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's gonna be about sixty degrees. It's gonna be a lot 30. cold. It's gonna be a lot colder. Plus, we're probably gonna have a wind chill factor. So we're gonna try Bodega for a little bit. If we don't get any bites within the first forty-five to an hour, we're actually gonna head to to Mollus Bay, which is part of the red triangle the red triangle being where most sharks actually migrate within the pacific to, to breed and you know for any sort of shark including great whites normally the breeding season is between june and november so we're actually in prime time for shark country bodega bay is the very tip however tamales bay is the heart of their breeding ground so we're gonna try a little bit in Bodega. If we don't catch anything or get any bites within the first 45 to an hour, we'll head on down to there to the heart of their breeding spot. Yeah. Well, there you guys have it. So we're almost there. Oh God! <laughs> Fishing pole just fell. Scared the shit out of me. It's okay. It's okay. Holy it's fuck! Fine, it's fine. Jesus! It's fine, it's fine. Uh, all right. So fine. probably honestly, my life's not fine, but everything else is. <laughs> <laughs> so we're about we're probably about ten minutes out now, and uh, you know, I mean, just like we I like said the way earlier, you hold my rod there, Logan. Uh, you're getting you're doing really a great job. <laughs> this is getting really weird, guys. <laughs> but so we're probably about ten minutes out now. But like like we said earlier, you know, you guys are getting the exclusive behind the scenes look of the making of gangrene fishing um just because this will probably come out probably as a little vlog just stating the events of episode five coming out i think what do you say do this every week i'm thinking so yeah that sounds good to just me. you know release the video a couple days later release yeah. the little uh the behind the scenes vlog there the making of so you know you get to see a little bit of the filmer right. and the editor on the camera just a little bit just a little bit i know yeah. hey hey, hey. Stay in your lane. Get behind that thing. <laughs> hey, I'm in front of the camera on my own channel, all right? Don't you worry. Uh, hey, look, there's a trout farm. Oh, no, no, that's the... Oh, yes, there it is. Trout farm. Yeah, there you go. Boom, trout farm. Then this person's going ridiculously slow. Oh, God. Yeah, but... So there well, you guys now go. now we're about another 15, thanks to this driver. Oh, my God. Come on, now. Come on. Come on. I believe. I believe in you. You are going 40 and a 55. What the Come on now. Uh, but yeah, once we pull up, we'll start filming this episode. Along with the behind the scenes stuff. I was probably just chilling, waiting for, waiting to get a bite. Honestly. A lot of the behind the stuff, the in between between uh, catches you guys don't get to see. So this will be a very interesting, just you know, another little series we got going on here. Of gangrene behind the scenes. I don't know. Come up with a fancy new title for it. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. We also got some exclusive stuff coming into the works. Coming up, we'll be doing some different species and some different areas coming up soon, which is going to be really exciting. We're actually going to be collabing with a few different people coming up soon. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really fun. It's all in the works. So, yeah, you guys might want to keep your eye out for it. It's going to be a fun one. Oh yeah, we're not going to reveal anything just yet. We're actually going to keep it as much very of a much secret. In the dark. Yeah, very much in the dark. All we can really say is we got two or three people we're going to collab with. You know, Billy's going to do all the fishing. I'm actually going to come with them and do the filming for us. Along with, they're probably going to have their own filmers or whatever, or they're probably going to be filming themselves as well. Um, but it's actually going to be quite Should fun. We give them just one little hit. It's up to you. All right. It's going to be all over the state of California and Oregon. That is the only thing I'm going to say as of right now. So, again, we're going to be traveling between states and all over the state as well. So, it's going to be fun. It's going to be really exciting. Yeah. And this will actually span out between the next uh, the next couple months of all this. So, this will probably, we got, what do you say, about a fourth? About, about a seven month yeah. span right now. About that's a, in the works. That's going to be fun. About seven months we have planned out right now actually just to get all this you know settled for us you know just collabing with different people getting different videos going to other states trying this you know trying to get uh, us out there 
And if you guys have any ideas of where you want to see us go, what type of species you'd like to, us to fish for, comment right below. Let us know. We love your guys' input. We'd love to know what species you're interested in watching us catch or where you'd like us to go. Uh, different techniques. Anything. Anything you guys would like to see. Huge help to us. Again, we love our fans. And we want, and we want to do everything in our power to make you guys enjoy our videos. So, with that being said, comment below your thoughts. Right, so, uh, we got a little update for you guys. You want to tell them, Bill? Well, the problem is, is normally the um, park, normally the parks and rec, um, what would you call them? Uh, the guys that run the toll booth. Pretty much, yeah. Normally they're gone by this time, so that means we can normally go in there without having to pay or have a campsite camping there and go ahead and fish. Well, I guess it's one of their weekends where they're extremely booked up, so they're staying there late. And that's a problem for us because their daytime use hours are already up. So you can't be there unless you have a campground or a meeting campers, which absolutely sucks for us because we weren't going to lie about it because if we did and found out, you know, there's consequences for that. Oh, yeah. So instead, we're actually going to head to the heart of their breeding ground, which is Tomales Bay, which I've had buddies catch five-foot leopards out of there, some absolute toads, as well as some stingray. Not really stingray, but you know, bat rays. But they're upwards to 70 pounds, which is going to be a fun one then. We're going to have a fun time. We just got to be able to locate these sharks. Again, the thing about fishing from shore, always have to keep moving from spot to spot. The fish will not come to you. You have to come to the fish from shore. Boat, a whole different story. It's a lot easier to move. It's a lot easier to spot without even realizing. But that is the goal. We're going to keep moving along around the shore every about 45 minutes or so, hit up 93, possibly four spots, see what we can catch, and we'll go from there. Yeah, yeah. It's about 8, 8.40 right now, we should be out there probably about 9 o'clock actually, and we're going to be out there for a couple hours, we're not leaving until we get some damn sharks, that's not right Bill. At least a shark, a ray, anything that's willing to bite, those are the two main big predators of Tamales, occasionally you'll get some sea bass if you're near some of the submerged rock formations, uh, but it's a rarity, I mean some people do, and occasionally blue ling, but again, that's a rarity, it's normally sharks, it's normally sharks, rays, and, and it's California halibut, so we'll see what we can catch, and go from there. See you guys back soon.